Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teach you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Yes, we are a little bit behind on the July monthly readings, but that will be going up on Monday. I did decide, however, to do you guys a reading for all the zodiac signs of the weekend forecast. See what you can expect for this weekend, what is unfolding for you. So we're going to begin here. If you guys are interested in any of the personal readings or any type of personal spell work, you can find all of that on the description link below. If you guys are interested in any of the manifestation books or journals, you can find all of that on there as well as the shadow book uh, journal as I do get um, a lot of DMs in regards to that. And if you guys do follow my Instagram, all of our links are in the description box below in every single video. Okay. All right, my lovelies, here we go. Let's get into it. Let's get to the needy degree. Let's see what we can expect for this weekend forecast for all of the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as it is Cancer season. For those of you guys that are returning or experiencing the return of the sun, brightest of blessings, my loves. Here we go. All right. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, ascendant master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly. Let's see what Cancer can expect for this weekend. What is unfolding for them? Give us clarity. Give us insight. Here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys. You guys definitely stay tuned as we do have um, a lot of spell videos coming through for you guys, okay? So you guys definitely stay tuned. Oof, all of them reversed here. All right. Wow. All of them are reversed. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is there is a lot of difficulty in regards to the connection or relationship or the person that you're dealing with right now. You may feel like they are a bit uh, disconnected. Um, for some of you guys, you haven't really had a lot of communication with them. Now, a lot of their fears are being triggered right now, um, fear of abandonment, fear of, it's almost this energy of, give me one second, let me pull out more cards. Yeah, so what they're showing me here is almost like your perception or your idea of this person is completely changing. And it's almost because they're very inconsistent. It's almost as if they've when you first started dealing with them, they were pretty much what you would hope for them to be. Um, and it's almost like they were presenting themselves as a facade, as a mask. They were, you know, presenting themselves the best way they possibly could. And I feel that that consistency has diminished. And the reason for that is because they were presenting themselves as, you know, the perfect gift, basically. Um, a gift that was wrapped in bullshit. Uh, so what I'm seeing here is that the lack of consistency, the lack of uh, this person really, I feel like they're trying to really grind your gears right now. And the reason for this is because they want you to be the one to chase after them. Um, what Spirit is saying here is it's very important in this process right now, Cancer, for you guys to really put effort and energy towards yourself, your goals and your aspirations. Don't put yourself on the side or on the sidelines, don't put yourself like um, in reserve. It's almost like they're saying, don't allow them to put you on reserve or in the back burner. Learn to make yourself a priority and move from this energy, okay? Because I don't want you sitting there waiting to hear from them or waiting to, you know, for them to reach out or waiting for them to um, be consistent again. What they're telling you here is, you got to lock in those boundaries. You got to know the power that you have and the power that you have. Don't easily give it away just because someone is giving you hot and cold. It's almost like they're purposely doing this. It's like they're selling you a dream or they're wanting you to crave what was in the beginning, but is no longer there. And the reason for it is because they were never being like truthful or transparent. Um, so it's going to be very important for you to Hold those boundaries in place, um, Cancer. All right, my loves. So I don't see them. Um, I don't see them reaching out, at least not this weekend. Um, it's going to be very important, like I said, to hold those boundaries and to really focus on yourself instead of sitting there waiting for them 
uh, to put effort in the situation. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's coming towards Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their weekend forecast here for Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, here we go, Leo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, here we go. We have the Ten of Swords reverse, Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse, and you in the upright, Queen of Wands. Okay, so there is an ending cycle that you've been experiencing. Uh, Leo, for a lot of you guys, there's been a lot of momentum, a lot of changes that are happening around you. Um, what spirit is focusing primarily right now, it's important for you to really get your money or get your bag. Um, what do I mean by this? Don't sit and wait for things to unfold or sit and wait for things to happen to you. It's time that you stop procrastinating. You got to be more action oriented. So as an example, um, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse and Ten of Pentacles, if you feel like you haven't been... Um, rewarded for the efforts or the hard work that you put into as an example in the workplace it's time you start speaking up for yourself and standing up for yourself uh, do not keep silent do not keep you know letting things like i said just you know I i'll deal with it it's too much i can't deal with it right now i'll let it just play out and see what happens like no that's not the energy that spirit wants you to take what they're telling you is that you need to be more action oriented. You got to make shit happen in order for shit to happen for you. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's about being more active, being more proactive as well. Now, for some of you guys, if there was some type of ending or some type of argument that you recently had um, with a partner or a person that you're seeing or that you're dealing with, I see them coming back around and trying to reach out, though it's going to be in a challenging way. So it's almost like if you guys had a falling out or something, they will be responding to you, but in a, I don't want to say aggressive way, but kind of like putting the blame on you type of energy. But the truth is that they are wanting to see, wanting you to express how you truly feel about them because they're not ready to let this go. Ten of Swords in reverse. They're not willing to walk away just yet. Um, but with the Knight of Wands here and the Five of Pentacles giving me much the energy of like, I'll walk if I have to, but really hoping deep down inside that you actually, you know, hold them back or that you actually talk to them or that you actually open up. It's almost like I'm walking away and I'm seeing them kind of like storm off, but deep down they're hoping that you like hold them back type of energy. Um, so if you are dealing with this again for this weekend, I do see communication though it's going to be in a challenging position like i said it's going to be almost like continuing the argument or the arguments but they're still like they're still texting they're still communicating type of thing um but in reality it's because they're wanting you to they they're wanting you to fight for it basically they're wanting you to fight for them um so whatever situation that you're currently dealing with or However, obviously, if they put you in a predicament or in a situation where it's time for them to step up, then obviously the advice here is um, buckle down and allow them to be the one to fight for it. Um, but if it is you that your pride and your ego is kind of holding you back, uh, maybe having that conversation, that heart to heart conversation is necessary in order to bring stability again within the connection. OK. All right, my loves. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can Virgo expect for this weekend? What can Virgo expect for this weekend? Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. All right. Lovers reversed. Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords. The Wheel. And the Three of Swords. Holy moly. All right, uh, Virgo. So there was a falling out in regards to a connection or person that you're dealing with. Um, what I'm seeing is they are very much in their head. And for some of you guys, if you are dealing with cheating or a third party situation, I feel like deep down, though it did, you know, though they did step out, I feel like deep down they are feeling remorseful and they are feeling regret. 
and not sure if they put you through this in the past, although it does give me the energy that maybe it's something they've done in the past. But this time, it's like they're really wanting to prove to you, right, that, which is, to be honest, what I'm seeing here, it, it it's kind of throwing me off because it's almost like it's bullshit. But at the same time, I am seeing the remorse. I am seeing the regret here. So for some of you guys, maybe you're dealing with the person that has this issue, like in the past or in past relationships, it's a cheater that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like deep down, they know that they effed up. They know that um, it's really weighing heavy on them. And if there's no contact or no communication, I feel like they're about to break they will be contacting you or they will be reaching out. Um, and I feel like an apology is definitely coming. Um, basically, the ball is going to be in your court, Virgo. However, my advice is if this is not the first time that they put you in this predicament, the more you keep allowing someone to betray your trust, your love, or you know the, the relationship within itself, the more you allow them to disrespect that, the less and less the respect they have for you. Because it's like you're showing them that it's okay to walk all over you. If this is something that keeps repeating itself, then it's time to walk away from this um, Virgo. It's important to choose yourself in this situation. Now, if it is the first time that they've put you through this situation and you're really wanting to hear from them, like I said, you will be hearing from them. I feel like this person is about to break uh, with an apology. Um, but it really ultimately comes down to you, Virgo. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is What can Libra expect for this weekend? What is their weekend forecast here? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Oh. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. All right, Libra. If there was a recent ending or some type of separation that recently took place, um... And the person hasn't reached out to you. I feel like you're definitely dealing with someone that is very ego-based. Someone that uh, is a bit selfish or has been selfish in the past. However, with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords and the Ten of Swords here um, in the upright position, there is a closing cycle that's happening. Now, what I'm seeing is if you've dealt with a situation where you're constantly breaking up and making up, breaking up and making up, this is the universe telling you, Libra, that it's very important for you to know and understand the cycles that you continuously keep purposely putting yourself through. So what do I mean by this? If this is a situation where there is no stability and you keep hoping that it's going to stabilize, but they keep walking in and out of your life, it's time to put your foot down and to embrace this end because only through this are you going to be able to actually move on towards something that is much more better suited for you, that has more potential. Um, because with the two of swords here in reverse, this person is about to break. If there, if there hasn't been any contact, this person will break that, you know, no contact thing uh, or no contact uh, at the moment. They're definitely about to break because the two of swords here is in reverse meaning their ego and pride is coming to the side. Um, they feel burdened and they feel like they may actually lose you because they don't know exactly what's going on with you. So that's what pushes them or propels them to contact you. However, with the Ten of Swords here in the upright, it's time for you to know when it's important for you to guard yourself and protect yourself. It's one thing to be hopeful and it's another thing to be delusional. When we constantly keep making the same mistakes over and over, hoping that there's going to be a different outcome. Okay, Libra? All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their weekend forecast here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. 
If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Like I said, you will be having the July forecast uh, monthly readings for all signs on Monday. It should be going up Monday early in the morning. And we have other spell videos going up. A ton of love spells as it's been highly requested. And a video on working with St. Simon. So you guys can definitely stay tuned for that. All right, here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. What is Scorpio's weekend forecast? Here we go. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Wheel, the Full Card, the Princess of Wands, the World, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, Scorpio. I'm going to be upfront. If you guys are dealing with someone that keeps playing mind games or keeps playing hot and cold, it, and I say play because it's like they're intentionally doing this. This is how they have you holding on or this is how they have you the constant of not knowing and having you on basically like they have to constantly feel the need to have you on your toes is basically because this is how their way of manipulating or their way of playing mind games. Of course, you guys know about manipulation, right? And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I mean that you guys can figure that out a mile away. So what they're showing me here with the full in reverse, it's time for you to take your power back, Scorpio. So I'm not sure if you maybe have really fallen for this person and that's the reason why you keep allowing them to play you um, or to play with your mind, even though something within you is kind of like, this is getting, you know, this is getting old, this is getting... There's something within you that is kind of telling you, like, wake up, know your fucking power, or take your power back. But you keep hesitating. And the reason for this is because, again, it's it's almost very much giving me the, <coughs> excuse me, the energy that you are definitely dealing with someone that you know you are much more mature for. Um, so it's either a person that's very immature and constantly keeps making mistakes and making excuses for those be for that behavior. Um, and you keep hoping for the best. But again, with the wheel and the world here, it's time to let go of things that are no longer working so that you can be able to walk towards a better and more stable connection, Scorpio. I feel like for this weekend, what they are showing me here is if there's been a lack of communication, communication will open up um, this weekend. However, my advice is stop letting them play you or play with your emotions. It's almost like, you know, getting very much the vibe of like playing a violin. So be smart and wise about that, Scorpio. Um, if you often find yourself questioning or wondering if they're playing with your emotions, the answer is yes. So it's time you put your foot down. It's time you start seeing things for what they really are, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what you can expect for this weekend. What is your weekend forecast for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, okay, too many. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. We're starting off here with the Nine of Wands. Okay. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords in reverse, and the Tower in reverse. Holy moly. Sagittarius, you've recently had some type of spiritual awakening or a revelation about the partner or person that you're dealing with. For some of you guys, it's realizing that this is not going anywhere or that you've been wasting your time, especially those of you guys that have been dealing with the same type of drama, the same type of bullshit from this person. And you're realizing that or God itself is proven or shown you something about this person where you're questioning everything you thought about them. Like your perspective on them has completely changed. However, you're still holding on to hope. 
And it's not so much about hope. I feel like it's comfortability. It's more so the type of energy of I'd rather deal with the devil that I'm aware of versus dealing with new devils type of energy. Um, but what Spirit is saying is it comes down to your fear of abandonment or your fear of being alone or your fear of being single. And that is what's holding you to this person or to this situation. But it's also what's keeping you from your blessings, Sagittarius. So if you're dealing with this type of energy, the advice here is stop allowing them to bring all of this toxicity to you and to almost make you feel burdensome, like you're the one that has to save them. You cannot save someone that doesn't want to be saved, Sagittarius. If you haven't experienced this yet, this is something that may unfold for you during this weekend. But because it's in the reverse, the tower, I feel like you've already experienced that, but you're just refusing to see things for what they really are. And with the emperor here, there's no stability. There is no future that can potentially come from a, such a toxic situation and such a toxic environment. It's giving me very much like your partner putting the all the stress or all the responsibility on your shoulders. Like, like please don't leave me because my world is going to fall apart. But yet... They're constantly burning your world. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's time that you pull away from the situation. Um, very toxic type of energy, Sagittarius. I feel for a lot of you guys this weekend, there may be some type of revelations that change everything about this connection. All right, moving on. Let's see what's happening, what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their weekend forecast? What is their weekend forecast for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is unfolding for them, spirits? All right. What is their weekend forecast here? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go. We have the Queen of Wands upright, the Devil in reverse, the Three of Cups reverse, the Prince of Cups reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords upright. Okay. So you're definitely bringing an end, Capricorn, to a situation that is, that's been very toxic, okay? You could have been dealing with someone that was putting you in a third party situation or someone that has a tendency, maybe you've dealt with someone that has some type of addiction, whether it's addiction to alcohol, to drugs, to pills, or to sex itself, especially because the Queen of Wands is here, okay? So for some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that has obviously commitment issues, or you've dealt with someone that had commitment issues in the past. There was some type of pulling away for some of you guys. You walked away from the situation from others of you. Maybe you dropped communication. There's no contact. I feel like they're coming back around. And the reason for this is because I feel like deep down, when it came to you, you were the only person that really like turned something like something that was off in them, like it just clicked. And they've realized that that you actually made them feel something and they're not used to that. However, with the 10 of swords here, I feel like for the majority of you, you've already walked away from this situation. But do not be surprised if you do hear from them this weekend, because I feel like they're wanting to come back. And the reason for it is because they, though, maybe were focused or putting their energy towards this other person that was giving them that type of attention. They're realizing that it's hollow and it's empty and they're missing you. And that's the reason why they're wanting to reach out. They're wanting to come back around especially with the devil card here in reverse. It's like they are looking towards the three of cups. Like it's not fulfilling anymore. I've outgrown this. Um, why is it that I'm missing this person when I've messed around with like the whole block and I never felt that about anyone? Um, so again, I feel like they're not necessarily ready to let go of this connection, but I feel like you are above this type of energy Capricorn. If you know exactly who they're talking about, my advice is they completely walk away from this. There is a difference between, I get it, everybody is human and everyone gets to mess up, at whatever, whatever, however you wanna see that, right? Me on a personal level, I don't believe in second chances. I feel like, um, just believe, when a person shows you who they are, believe it the first time, type of thing. But anyways, if you, you know, gave them or want to give them the benefit of the doubt 
etc like that's fine but i would hope to see like the ace of cups here the two of cups um the ten of cups nine of cups type of energy where it speaks about emotion but because the devil's right at the center it's in reverse so it's it's more of a physical type of thing maybe for them um you actually made them feel emotions because you guys were very much physically connected if you get what i'm saying so again my advice is you've outgrown the situation you're better off but do not be surprised you might hear from this person uh this weekend all right moving on here let's see what's going on with aquarius aquarius sun moon rising venus what can aquarius expect for this weekend aquarius sun moon rising venus aquarius sun moon rising venus all right here we go oh all right five of cups here sorry five of pentacles the full card the wheel oh something's changing prince of pentacles four of wands and the sun card reversed okay so aquarius I feel like right now you guys are going through a transition of self-love and self-worthiness. Um, and for some of you guys, it's almost like becoming aware of a lot of toxic defense mechanisms that you've created throughout your life that kind of keep people at an, at an arm's length. And I feel for some of you guys, it's the notion of understanding. For some of you guys, maybe you're growing wiser. For others of you... Um, you feel more mature or you feel like your wants and needs are changing. So there is a realization that's happening within you guys. And I feel like for this weekend, what's happening is someone's going to trigger you or someone's going to maybe come to you kind of as getting feedback or getting some type of advice on their relationship. And it's going to really make you ponder. It's going to really make you like go internally and ask yourself the bigger questions. And a lot of it is realizing that that you are in need or that you are wanting and desiring a deeper type of connection or soul type of connection, something that is not on a superficial. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's realizing you're coming to the realization that your wants and needs are changing when it comes to relationships. And this comes through... Um, almost like giving advice to someone or some type of guidance where you're kind of like giving them the best advice to their interest. But as you're speaking it or as you're saying it, you're realizing that you're kind of speaking to yourself as well. So there is that realization that's happening. For others of you, it could have been a situation where you've dealt with someone or you have had someone in your life, maybe a friend, a colleague, someone that um, you never really seen romantically but there is a transformation that's happening. Um, and again, like I said, it could be something that comes up where they come to you to get some type of advice. And you realize that this person possesses a lot of the qualities that you didn't really know they had. So there's some type of admiration. Some Something changes within you the way you view this person. Um, but I am seeing that it, it it's almost like you're having a realization through some type of conversation that comes up this weekend for you guys, okay? So best of luck when it comes to that. And it's okay to change our minds. It's okay to want different things in different aspects in different parts of our life. That's where evolving is. That's what growth is. So it's okay to change your mind, Aquarius. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this weekend? What can they expect for this weekend? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I know my Pisces, I forgot about you guys. Or I didn't forget about you guys, but I skipped you guys in the last reading we did, which I made a personal reading just for you guys. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Pisces. I have, my mother is a Pisces and my sister is a Pisces. So I have Pisces in my life. And then I have a friend that's a Pisces as well. 
All right, here we go. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Emperor card here. Huh. What I'm seeing here is... Pisces, you guys are going through a massive, like, self-awareness type of energy here. Um, could be, obviously, Saturn. Saturn is weighing heavy on you guys right now. Um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, you've been seeing a situation. You've been kind of, like, in denial. Or you've been trying to ignore certain things that are very close to your heart. Um, this could be a relationship. This could be a partner. This could be you forcing yourself to see your partner as stable or loyal. But there is a revelation that's happening or some type of awareness that's going to unfold for you guys. And it, the beginning process may be through this weekend um, where you're realizing that you have to see things for what they really are. And it's time for those colored rose glasses to come off. Uh, for a lot of you guys, it's the realization of hearing from someone that is at a distance that's going to be giving you some type of information, some type of news, something that is related or connected to this relationship or to your partner that is going to almost solidify the, solidify the doubts and insecurities, and I say they're showing me insecurities, quote unquote. So it's almost like maybe your partner made you feel like you were just being insecure or like maybe you were delusional. But in reality, it wasn't quote unquote insecurities. It was your intuition. And this is just solidifying that. So moving forward, what they're telling you here, it's time for you to put your foot down. It's time for you to take ownership and full power and control over your life. And understanding or realizing that the more you let your partner get away with certain shit, the more they feel comfortable putting you through that shit. So there is some type of awakening, some type of realization here. And again, unfortunately, I see it unfolding this weekend. However, I don't feel like it's something that's going to happen overnight. It's something that's going to progressively push you to having to decide is the anxiety and the stress and the worry worth it? Or are you choosing yourself? And are you choosing your peace and state or peace of state of mind versus allowing someone to point the finger and make you feel like you're the crazy one? Best of luck with that, my loves. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their weekend forecast here for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their weekend forecast here for Aries? Here we go, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right. We have the Sun card. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. The Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. The Seven of Swords. And the Three of Swords. Okay. Aries, who is being sneaky to you? I feel like you guys are not in contact or there's no communication between you and someone that you really care for. Or someone that you really want to break contact um, you want to reach out to them, but it's almost like you're standing in your pride. You're like, no, they need to be the ones to reach out. Um, but what I'm seeing here is there's two different scenarios that are happening for some of you guys. What you're going through right now when it comes to relationships and partnerships is you're being tested. And it's uh, keep in mind, you have Chiron in your sign. So Chiron is the wounded healer. There's going to be certain things that are going to be triggering us right now in order for us to become more self-aware of where we're really hurt and where we need to heal. Because only through healing are you able to fully empower yourself. 
So there is a fear here that I see with you guys. There's a fear of rejection or there's a fear of pouring yourself or being completely honest and just blabbering your feelings to someone and for them to take advantage of that or for them to use that as vulnerability against you. And I feel like you're really fighting this right now, Aries. But what Spirit is telling you is that you in this process, you're kind of holding yourself from potentially one of your biggest blessings because for some of you guys, it's kind of the situation of, I'm sure you guys have seen like memes on Instagram where it's like um, dropping the ball on, you know, God sending you the right person and you fumble them type of energy. With the Sun card and the Nine of Cups here, this is an indication of a true connection, okay? But the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you're, you're punishing yourself because you're fearful of opening up and showing vulnerability. So in essence, you're blocking your own blessings, Aries. Um, my advice is, again, if this falling out happened because obviously the other person effed up, then by all means, maybe this could be a testament to what Chiron is doing in your sign right now, which is knowing your worthiness and standing on that, allowing them to be, if they really want you in, your, in their life, they're going to fight for you. But if they don't, then let them go. But however, if the or the roles are reversed and it's you the one that's holding back because you're scared that they're going to reject you or that they're going to take advantage of your emotions and vulnerability in you being scared to open up and be vulnerable, you're kind of holding yourself and blocking yourself from experiencing a true connection. All right. So. What I see this weekend is there's going to be something that's going to be triggering you and making you want to like really reach out to this person. Again, keep in mind if the roles are reversed and this person is the one that's going to be experiencing this this weekend, where it's almost like a push of wanting to communicate. Um, however, I don't see it happening this weekend, but it could potentially unfold for this week to come for you guys, okay? So there is definitely communication that's going to be opening up. But if it is you holding back, Aries, stop blocking your blessings. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is coming towards them for this weekend? What is their weekend forecast? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Oh, here we go. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are interested in any personal readings, you can find all of that on the description link below. All right. Taurus, six of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. <clears throat> For some of you guys, you were dealing with a person that was definitely not putting in the work. For some of you guys, um, you probably feel like they've been pulled away or like they're pulling away progressively. Or like communication is not the way it was. I feel that that's going to quickly change. You will be hearing from them or there's going to be some type of confession. For some of you guys, it's them like literally realizing that they weren't putting effort, but they're coming back around and they're trying to make it up to you. For some of you guys, it's actually having the conversation and making it official, official or taking it to the next level. Um What I'm hearing also is for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, there is a call or some type of text that's going to be coming through for you that could potentially be connected to like a past connection, a past love, or a past fling that you had that nothing really came from it. I feel like this person is going to be reaching out and I feel like they're in a much better place in their life where they're capable and ready to give something more or to to get something more meaningful out of this connection. Um, so don't be surprised if you get like a random text or call from someone that maybe you, you know, got physical with at one point, or maybe you guys were trying to see where it went and it wasn't really happening. Um, I feel like this person is at a much better, something in their life changed where there's more structure now and they're more capable or maybe emotionally ready to actually give you a type of connection and consistency that you're looking for. Um, 
Taurus, because I'm feeling like with the Six of Pentacles, it was a missed opportunity in the past. But I feel like you guys are revisiting that situation or um, reconnecting for some of you guys. There's a reconnection that's happening. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Weekend forecast. Let's see what is going on here with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their weekend forecast? If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here we go. Gemini. What is coming towards you this weekend? Uh-oh. I just heard family drama. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card. The Ten of Swords. The Page. Sorry, the Prince of Swords. Nine of Wands. And the Four of Wands. Okay. <laughs> so there is going to be immediately when shuffling the cards, I heard family drama. With the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse, I really want you guys to make it a priority this weekend, Gemini, to not get involved with drama, okay? And this is, again, like I said, it's it's coming from family or the family dynamic. Um, with the judgment in reverse, I feel like it's someone that has a tendency of being very judgmental. This could even be someone that's close to you or in your family dynamic that may try to come at you the wrong way and you're like ready and willing to burn it all down. And what I mean by that is to like really serve them with like truth bombs. You know what I mean? Um, with the Ten of Swords here though and the Nine of Wands, yes, it's very crucial and important to stand your ground and to let people know or or show people that if you fuck around, you're gonna find out type of thing. But what they're telling you here with the with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands, it's okay to stand your ground, but don't be nasty about it, especially if it's a person that you really care for. Meaning if it's like a sister, a brother, um, someone that you're close to, uh, you don't wanna react based on emotion and burn that bridge down and then later on feel guilt about it. You know, like I could have gone about it a different way. And I feel like this is something that maybe you've been dealing with for a while now. So that could be almost like the reason why you feel like they pushed you over the edge. But unfortunately, sometimes we do have to be the bigger person. And I feel like what they're telling you right now is don't act based on emotion because I feel like the remorse and the regret is going to be heavy for you. So again, if anyone's trying to steer shit up or they come to you or they try to tell you like, hey, this person, this was saying so and so about you, like, don't take it at face value. Don't let it rattle you to the point where you act out of pocket. And then later on, maybe it wasn't exactly how they painted it to be. You know what I mean? Like, so again, don't act based on emotion. Be wiser and smarter. You know, if it's someone that's coming to you, it's kind of like what I tell my clients. If someone comes to you and it's someone that you trust and they're telling you, hey, these people are talking behind your back, like my initial reaction would be like, why do they feel that comfortable talking shit about me in front of you? You get what I'm saying? So again, if that happens this weekend, ask yourself that question. Like, why are they coming to me and why did they feel you know, like they can express or say this in front of this person. If obviously this person's close to me, why would they basically ask yourself more questions before actually reacting? Um, because I feel like you're going to be f like in the end, you're going to feel like you could have gone about it a different way. Um, so don't, don't let people rattle you this weekend, uh, Gemini. All right, my loves. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like I said, stay tuned as we have tons of new videos coming through for you guys. The monthly July readings are going to be going up on Monday morning. And we have more spell videos that will be going up maybe on Sunday, maybe on Tuesday. Um, so you guys definitely stay tuned for that. I will see you guys until then. Bye.